What's up everyone, Giant Opinions. A trade just happened between the Mariners and the Reds. The Mariners are getting Jesse Winker and Eugenio Suarez in exchange for Justin Dunn, Jake Fraley, Brandon Williamson, and a player to be named later, and that, that player to be named later is rumored to be the big piece in this deal. So this is something that we will look for in the next few days because we don't know right now who that player is, but as for the Mariners, they are getting Jesse Winker, a pretty damn good outfielder. He's really started to come onto the scene the past few years. I like what he can do with the bat. He hits for a good average consistently, and he's also able to take walks. I like that he has enough discipline to get on base via the walk, too, not just through um, swinging the bat. He can hit home runs. He's a solid fielder. I mean, he's not a gold glover that's going to save, like, or rob a home run, but he's, he's very good. He is a great outfielder to have in the Mariners. Hell yeah, they'll be happy to have him on the team. He's the main piece in this deal. I think we can all kind of understand that. And then they also get Eugenio Suarez, a guy who in the past has been very good, especially when it comes to offense. Lately, he's kind of struggled a little bit, though. He had a 198 batting average in 2021. It's not too good. Even at that, he still hit 30-plus home runs, so he does provide power to the lineup, which is something that I think the Mariners definitely need more of. So from thinking about that, I actually kind of like it from that perspective, but they are going to have to eat the salary that he brings which is a lot of money. Uh, it's probably more than he should be getting based on his recent years of performance. And for the Reds, this is just clearing cap. Let's just be honest. The Reds are tearing it down, and Cassianos will not be back either. But what the Reds got in return, Justin Dunn, he's a solid relief pitcher. He's already been called up before. He's all right. I mean, they'll, the Reds will, will like to have him in the bullpen. Jake Fraley, he isn't the best player, but he's kind of scrappy in my opinion. And he actually takes more walks than I think than I than I would have thought from before when I checked his uh, stats before this. So he can get on base. He's all right. I mean, he's he's probably gonna be the stopgap guy in Cincinnati for a few years before they start to move into the next phase of their rebuild uh, per se. Now Brandon Williamson is also kind of a, a big piece in this deal. I think he's the Mariners' eighth ranked prospect. Um, yeah, no, he's the seventh ranked prospect in the. A Mariners farm system so he's going to be going to Cincinnati he's a left-handed pitcher and he was projected to be around a first round pick but then the fact that he had I think two hip surgeries in high school was what led to him falling so there are some major injury concerns around Brandon Williamson and even at that on the MLB prospects uh, website it's not like he has anything super highly graded his, his highest grade is a, a fastball which is a 60 it's fine fastball curveball slider change up it's the normal um so yeah i think he's projected to come up in 2022 so he might be ready but i don't think he is because i can't find any minor league statistics from him so who do i think won the trade let's be honest the mariners won the trade they're gonna have to eat on suarez's uh salary which is something i think it's around it's definitely over 10 million i know that for sure it might be 20 million this year or something like that but in return i mean jesse winker is gonna fit nice in that outfield with uh with kyle lewis and mitch hanniger and I, I don't know, maybe maybe one of them will be DH because I'm just thinking because Jared Kalenic is also an outfielder. So he's kind of like the odd man out, but he's also a really good prospect. So what's going to happen? Something is going to happen to one of those outfielders or one of them is just going to be the permanent DH, but I think Suarez might be a better permanent DH. Uh, so yeah, interesting move for the uh, Mariners. The, uh, uh, the consensus is that the Mariners won the trade for the Reds. You're losing uh, Jesse Winker, pretty good player. But other than that, I don't think it's really too bad, honestly. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's bad, but I don't I don't really like the return that they got. Um, until we find out who that player to be named later is, because for all we know, it could, be no, it could be Noel V. Marte. And if that's the case, then my perspective on this trade will drastically shift. But as of right now, the Mariners won the trade. Reds fans, hang in there. It's tough during these rebuild, retool stages. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this trade, and I will see you on the next one.